Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a steel cage match for the PCW World Heavyweight Championship. Both participants will be locked inside of this steel cage. The only way to win is by pinfall or submission. Introducing first, the challenger. He's a member of the Dark Circle. From parts unknown, Tim Storm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is the main event of Sick and Twisted 2005. We've been waiting for this for weeks. And there stands the challenger from the Dark Circle, Tim Storm. Can the Dark Circle go three for three tonight? You've had APOC and Damian win the tag team titles. You've had Shadow beating up Mace Malone. And now you've got Tim Storm, the Grim Reaper from the Dark Circle, going up against sexy Steve DeMarco. And this is a title that DeMarco covets, man. He's not going to let go of this thing without a hell of a fight. Absolutely not, Chris. When it's time to get down to business, Steve DeMarco is all business. Look out! No question about that. Oh, wait a minute. Miami, Florida. They're getting started outside the ring. Tim Storm going after DeMarco early, but DeMarco now, oh, with a DDT oh at the bottom of the ramp. Sexy Steve DeMarco didn't even make it to the cage. Tim Storm was waiting for him, and the, the, the match, I, I, don't, I, I haven't heard a bell ring. I don't even think it started yet. Hey, come on, man, the girls are out here still. Tim Storm goes head first into the steel cage from the outside. Well, I tell you what, you can use protecting, especially if DeMarco and Storm come up this way. They're, well, not, they're not. not far away as it is. And I believe it, it oh. looks to me like Tim Storm in his face meeting the steel. I think he's been lacerated. I believe he has. Yeah, this, uh, this fence that they've uh, put together, not exactly the uh, – the best quality steel, if you will. It's got a lot of uh, nicks and, and gouges. Oh my God, what a right hand. Steve DeMarco kind of taunting Tim Storm with the belt before letting loose oh. with another offensive barrage here. And now, oh, right into the ring post. I don't think Tim Storm knows what he got himself into when he attacked DeMarco outside the ring. He may be more safe inside the steel cage. Well, that's quite possible, of course. The cage is there mainly to ensure that the dark circle does not interfere. So Apocalypse, Damien, Shadow, they should not, I repeat, not be a factor in this match. It should be just down to those two men right there well, if they ever get in the cage. Yeah, they've got to get in first. DeMarco's leaving himself wide open here. I mean, he could leave himself open to attack from Damien, Apoc, Shadow, you name it. Even that little Eddie Munster looking guy could show up. You never know. Anybody could attack DeMarco from behind if they're on the payroll of the Dark Circle. And Steve, De Steve DeMarco now with a big chop uh, on Storm, and Storm is indeed busted open. Yeah. And his head against those steel, uh, those wooden steps. We have wooden steps here at PCW Arena, but those suckers are hard. Make well, no question, make no mistake about that. That's right. DeMarco has been champion for what? How long? Uh, sev several, several months. Several months, yeah. I mean, and he's had a lot of people take a run at his title. But he's the champion for a reason. He's the best this company has to offer. And Tim Storm has opened up a major can of whoop ass here. Steve DeMarco, a two time PCW World Heavyweight Champion, a former Cruiserweight Champion, former TV Champion, former Tag Team Champion, the first Grand Slam Champion in PCW history, going to work here on Tim Storm. I'll tell you what, he's got a real bone to pick with Mike Fox because this is Steve DeMarco's show. That's right, and Mike Fox, of course, has that wish that he's going to be able to exercise at Heroes to Legends two months hence. Sexy C neckbreaker there by, or rather my mistake, the Sexified. Those two moves very similar in execution. And now, looks like DeMarco wants to put Tim Storm away very quickly with a sexy kick here. Is everything he's got called sexy? He's doing the uh, sexy stuff Oh, wait a minute. Now. I told you. Wait just I a minute. I told you that where one goes, they all go. Here comes Damien, here comes Apoc, and there's the big man Shadow. I told you that there's a cage out here. That's the only thing that's gonna save Steve DeMarco. And they want nothing nothing more than to get inside that cage and help their partner. But they, they can't get in, that door is locked, and Tim Storm comes up with a big clothesline. Oh, man. DeMarco, that busted DeMarco's lip open. 
What uh, is this? Oh, wait a minute. Here comes we, management. We, we've got PCW staff out here confronting the dark circle as Tim Storm continues to work on Steve DeMarco inside the cage, just pounding away on him with right hands while staff continues with the dark circle on the outside, trying to get them out of here. Gosh, these are guys from the PCW street team. These are guys from management. There's a guy here from building management who's out here. But look at this, DeMarco's face oh. getting raked onto that cold, hard steel. Anybody for cheese? He's been great in some. That's certainly what it looks like as Storm continues to go to work on Steve DeMarco. Well, the dark circle being ushered out of here, but DeMarco meets that steel cage face first. And it took, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys. Nine guys it took to get those three out of here. Well, right. once again, it's back down to one-on-one -on -one as it should be. Storm with the advantage right now on DeMarco. And, and DeMarco coming in with a bit of a disadvantage because as much as he says otherwise, DeMarco's back is not at 100% no. ever since Tim Storm just, just counted him in the wake of Fight, Win, Survive when Storm exercised his wish from being on the winning team and saying he wanted a title match. Yeah, and I, well, I remember those chair shots like it was yesterday, man. He and hit him and hit him and hit him. And I remember boy, DeMarco being laid out of here you know, on a stretcher. DeMarco is a very proud man, very proud champion. And for him to go out on a stretcher is something he has not forgotten. Look at this, Storm with DeMarco up on his shoulder. He's headed straight from the side of the cage. Oh, just ramming him in. Oh, look at that, that red mask that Tim Storm has. Oh, oh my gosh. Lawn dart right into, the, right into the photographer. The photographer inside the cage trying to get some up, up close and personal shots. Well, what the hell is he doing in the ring? I don't know, but Storm's got his camera. That's a damned expensive camera. Oh, my God. Tim Storm just strutting around, camera in hand. Well, what the hell's the photographer doing inside the cage? Does he have a death wish? How stupid do you have to be? I'm not sure. That's not the first time I've seen a photographer still or video inside the steel cage, but may have been oh. an judgment. Oh, my God, using that camera right across DeMarco's head. And I'm sure that photographer, when he wakes up and sees this tape, is going to tell Mr. Storm that it's going to cost him a boatload of money to replace that camera. And now as Tim Storm climbs to the top rope, we've got members of arena staff. We've got official Travis Trueborn, and they're going to try to, I guess, pull that, pull that photographer out of there before he suffers any more damage. Well, uh, the, the, the cage door opens the other way, fellas. Look at this, now going to work. Oh, big right. I'll tell you what, nobody throws a harder right hand in wrestling history than Tim Storm. You said, they used to say Ronnie Garvin had the hands of stone. Yeah. That man right there has hands of granite. I'm telling you. Tim Storm continuing to work on Sexy Steve DeMarco. Once again, this is for the PCW World Heavyweight title. This has been brewing for months and months ever since Storm planted DeMarco onto four chairs with that devastating move called the Perfect Storm. Storm just digging in with his fingers. Photographer being helped out of here. As well he should. That may be the last time he gets in a cage or even in a wrestling ring for that matter. Hell, that may be the back last time he goes in a backyard that's surrounded by a fence. Storm throwing DeMarco into that cage. And you've run your hand over a cyclone fence like that. You know there's a lot of rough edges. And oh, yeah. Really jagged edges on that stuff. And they didn't exactly buy the highest grade of steel, like I said, when they bought this thing. So that thing's got a lot of razor, razor edges on it. And you can really get sliced open. Look at Tim Storm's face. Tim Storm is a bloody mess, and he's looking to get the same done to Steve DeMarco right here. Trying to take advantage of the less than 100% back. And now he's got him over his shoulder. He's going to drive him in again. Oh, my. DeMarco drops off. Race lock takedown, one, two, only a two count. But DeMarco rammed right into that cage once again. And wasn't it you that, that DeMarco basically confided in when you told him it was not a good idea for him to come back just yet? Well, yes, I, I do admit to that. I wrote in my column online at pcwwrestling.com.